Hey guys, what is up? Demons11 here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft texture pack 172 through 1710. Now, I'm going to show you what you guys need. Right now, you're going to need the default resource pack and GIMP 2. So right now, you see how I have this and this and this. So when you have your default resource pack, and the download li download link will be in the description, you want to click it, then extract here, and you'll get this, and you get assets in pack.mc meta. So when you have that, you want to open up, you want to put it in a file, I guess, because that's what I like to do, and then you want to open up GIMP. Once you have opened up GIMP, and it might take a while, because I'm recording, and now it opened up really quick, alright. So what you want to do is you want to go to open, I put it in desktop, click this, or whatever you put it in, assets, minecraft, textures, I'm just doing a texture like block stores in there, I'm going to do a block, I'm going to do, uh, how about cobblestone, I don't care, let's just do cobblestone, open that, and then since you guys will start off with two toolboxes, on each side, and then once you exit GIP, GIMP, you won't have it anymore. I don't know how to get that back, but I know how to get a so small version. You want to go to Tools, and then click New to Toolbox. Now, you will get the relatively the same toolbox, but not everything will be in it, as you can see. If you watch the video again, after you uh, use GIMP again. So, when you have this, you want to click this the like magnifying glass then you want to click whatever you're doing and I click it in the middle because then it'll just stay there if you click over here it goes to the right if you click over here it goes to the left up down and so on and then if you make it too big you want to click control and then left click again wherever you want to put it so I'll just do that so now that I have that I'm gonna go to my pencil double click your pencil because it'll be huge then bring down the size to one now pick your color. I'm picking black because I'm just going to make a cartoony version of it. Not a cartoony version, but a black version. Or whatever, a plastic version. <laughs> but yeah, here it's going to be. Oh, what am I doing? What the heck? And um, I'm just going to make the edges black. And then I'm going to make the inside all gray. Take the bucket, then just inside this all. And then you can use a paintbrush, which makes it look like this, kind of shades it, and then the same. This does kind of the same thing. It just spray paints it. So I'm gonna spray paint it. Um, let's just go with black, and it just makes it a darker shade. So I'm gonna give it a darker shade like that. You can go to my paintbrush and give it a little more cobblestone texture like that, and then give it a little bit more gray, just a little bit darker gray though wherever you are there you are then make that a little bit darker gray and then here you go and then once you opened up your thing whatever you opened up you want to go to file and then you want to overwrite your cobblestone now that you've op overrided your cobblestone once you put your assets into another thing you will do it but the weird thing I'll tell you guys after I save it so you want if you want to save your cobblestone you just type this in you can type in whatever you want I'll just do new so now what you want to do is you want to go in here your assets will be here minecraft textures blocks go into cobblestone and here see what see it it's a little low but it looks it looks just like the one I made so there you go now since you have that you want to put your assets into your default resource pack and it'll just you know update it and then you might and then you want to put in your pack MC meta and then you're done but if you want to add another thing to it because if you don't make your fully resource pack again you're gonna have to um, download another default resource pack so another one of these but it's okay 
So if you once you make this, you want to copy this and just copy it and keep copy it like say just straight up copy it. Paste copy this and then so on. And then you can rename it and then I don't yeah, I'm just going to name it the demon pack. Now all you have to do is open up your Minecraft. Minecraft is uni. That was, that's my trolling. And then I'll go into my Minecraft Optifine. What the heck is ringing in there? Sorry, I'm just looking out my window. It's freaking scary, B. Alright. I'm going up Minecraft. Go on multiplayer. Um, don't even need to do that. I'll just go on a single player. Uh, creative mode cheat. This is where I was trying out my Hazuni. Took me like eight hours to figure out how to get a hack, but yeah, finally got it to work. So now we're gonna open resource packs, and here's all the resource packs that I've made besides Mr. Birds, which is a good texture pack. What the hell is that? All right. So now that I have this, I'm just gonna go in here, open resource pack folder, and since this is there. I can just put, do I have the demon pack in there? Nah, no, I have the demon pack in here. Put that there. There you go. Here you are. Done. Resource packs. The demon pack is right here. Open that. And you have your cobblestone. Cobblestone monster egg. See that? That's how you make your Minecraft texture pack. And, uh, thank you. The links to everything that you download will be in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, hashtag Kazuni hacks. Um, don't use them on servers; you get banned unless you hate the server, which YOLO, I do that, and then yeah. <laughs> See ya.